Chat, we're going to start today with two matches that I think will be interesting because they are cheats that we've never really seen before. And one of them, which is going to be the first one, is one that makes absolutely no sense to me. So in this quick match, we have Anonymous, who's reporting H gun H Q F Q H 7 9 K 2 1. It's going to be very obvious that they're cheating. Like this is casual, so they don't care. But I am hoping that the weird cheat that we're going to see will be reflected in match replay. And I've seen this reported on Twitter a few times by a bunch of different people. Um, obviously, is like a kill box there. He just killed the drones without doing anything. Again. It's only two rounds, so I'm not sure which round it'll be in, though. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's prone. Wait, what? <laughs> that wasn't the cheat that I was talking about, but... Okay. Fucking Beyblade, let it rip. Oh my god. Okay, next round. I believe this is where we'll see the other thing that I was going to talk about. So, oh actually this isn't what I was going to talk about. So, I, I was worried about showing this because in the file he even said, so with his drone, he can make it fly around the world, but not like jump and glide it can just straight up fly wherever it wants which essentially is free cam so i was a little worried about showing this because you know ubisoft being ubisoft has still not redacted the copyright strike but the drone is flying around this is basically free cam in drone form but this is not free cam ubisoft do not strike this video if you strike this video too i'm gonna be very upset we will be done. I'll break up with Siege. So, yeah, he, uh, with the drone, is able to make it just fly around. We've seen this before. This is nothing new. Okay. This is the new part. So everyone has 128 million experience, or points, rather, score. So this has been happening a lot. Um, apparently... This is used to boost accounts. However, the part of me that's like, how does this work? I don't know how many of you guys know this. The XP that you gain at the end of the match is directly tied to your score in the game. Which is why when you win, you get like 5,000 XP. Because in a normal game, you have like 2,000 points. Then you win, you get like plus 3,000 for winning. So then it's 5,000 XP. Now, it's capped at 5,000. So here, if this were going off of score, you would level up like 50,000 times with this one game. But I don't understand the point of an XP glitch if the account isn't going to actually level up that much. Because this guy would be like level, like he'd be the highest level in the game. He'd be like over 1,000 from just like five games. So I don't understand the point of this. All it really does is guarantee that you get the max amount of XP, but you get that anyways by blatantly cheating and winning. So, what's the point? I don't know. So the person completely changed their name, and we can't find them anymore. Actually, we'll look at the other team. Retired hyphen underscore. Level 83. Yeah, like, oh, toxic behavior. Um, like, they're not getting an insane amount of actual XP from this, so I don't, I don't understand the point. I don't know. It seems pointless. Uh, one thing I want to also show is apparently he is able to make shields get knocked back without doing the melee glitch. Like it's just permanently... Or he's able to like shoot through the shields. Uh. So I assume what's happening here using my two semesters or three semesters of computer science understanding 
what's happening here is that because of his cheat b being able to prone and spin that fast what they're essentially doing is every time they spin like when their legs are on the other side of the wall it probably registers their body there so when they can shoot or even on the other side like if their front side is through the wall because they spin so fast maybe the game just doesn't block them properly and they're able to shoot through the wall that's my theory because he's specifically doing it when he prones he's able to just shoot through so it's probably just his body warping through and getting free kills and then I assume this guy was with him. I didn't actually see, but... It looks like this guy was the only other one getting kills, and... Yeah. So this guy was also cheating. Dabs where? Okay. Let's see about him. Uh, he's only level 23, so yeah, you, you can even see here, like, this XP exploit isn't doing anything for him. He's not leveling up faster. Oh. Total XP. 1,417,616,229. The next closest that's legitimate is Imba SE, who has played 26,000 games mind you, versus the 850, and is at, no, 341 million, 248,640. Damn. Who the fuck is this guy? On PlayStation? 641? I'm more fascinated by this. How has he consistently had a negative KD and he has the most amount of playtime in Siege history? I could not be this dedicated with a negative KD. 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. That's crazy. Holy shit. So again, don't really understand the point of that XP bug, but they have it. Now there's no point to the XP hack, but there is a point to the Varsity Gaming Charm. Varsity Gaming Charm will make you better at Siege and get you all the ladies. And you can get it for free just by subbing my Twitch channel with Twitch Prime. This match should also be a very obvious cheater. And the reason why I did two super obvious ones in a row is because I wanted to have it just in case the other one wasn't crazy obvious. So we have Shisha for Life, who is accusing... The one who's cheating in this one is Rote Hair. I, I keep looking at the wrong name. Um, so this person is cheating. We can already tell with the glacier, and we know because it's obvious. Um, but in round three, we should see something a little different than usual. Why are people so uptight about cheaters and FPSs? Steamy Fart, you've already had like 50 stupid things you've said. I'm very curious what you'll say about this. Okay. So, he was ready. He's already ready for this guy, who's on the other side of the wall, by the way. What's it? Oh, no, it's not on the other side of the wall. So, he is obviously cheating. Doesn't look like that good of a player though. Like he constantly keeps like pushing and stopping, pushing and stopping. He's probably not that good, which makes sense. He's cheating. Um, but we're gonna move to round three after this, where the I think crazy cheat should be. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't just shoot him through there. All right, he's trying to play it cool. So, we're going to go to round three. One HP because of the cap cans.
Okay, so this is what I was waiting for. He's sprinting and firing while downed. Let's let's watch that from a top-down view. Love that uh, the Thinker actually prevents him from downing himself right away. Also, I don't understand why you'd ever want to do this as a cheater. Because like by the time he activates it, I think he's already at almost half dead. Anyways, he starts fucking sprinting. He's doing the worm. Also, one bullet and you're dead, I think. <laughs> he looks so stupid. <laughs> he looks so dumb. Why would you want that as a cheat? How is that going to help you in any possible way? Uh, whatever. That is another new cheat. Two new cheats today. So, first two matches, two crazy new cheats. Now we'll move on to our third match. Now we're, we're, we should be able to see some less obvious ones, I hope. Quicker mobility while down, thus making a harder target. He's moving slower on the ground than he would just sprinting normally. So it just makes no sense to me why you'd want to do that. Um... Okay, Water Eater and Jax in this match are accusing Mafia Boss level 100. Mafia Crook level 1. But yeah, that, that down bug, or that down hack doesn't make any sense to me. Because you're a one-shot, easy kill. Your body's moving weirdly, which makes it easier to hit. And people are just gonna destroy you. And this guy's running Dokubi Boss G, which makes me feel like he must already be cheating. But we'll... We'll give him some time to see. I'm trying to eat. So I don't pass out. I also have to pay attention. So this guy's cheating. Well, that's three fast cheaters. So this was one thing I was talking about with the new anti-cheat. Is that I feel like a lot of the cheaters that we're going to get are going to be super obvious ones. Because, well, that new anti-cheat will <coughs> get rid of all the... The five dollar Timmies who are being more subtle and that's just the cheaters that have nothing to lose and are trying to just exploit to the highest possible degree. Or I guess not exploit, but cheat to the highest possible degree. They're the only ones left. These are the guys paying like a hundred dollars a month for their cheats and then also buying a new account every single time their previous account gets banned. So Hacker Replay will probably be a lot more obvious from here into the future, but maybe that'll also open it up so that we get more non-obvious, uh, like not cheaters, where people are just like, this guy was really good, was he cheating? And I can hopefully help determine. Inter interested on how the guy went crab one was able to have a standing status? You mean the guy in the last match? He didn't have a standing status. He was on the ground. I wonder how early they knew about this guy, because he's not being subtle. I guess it, you wouldn't really notice what we've noticed so far, where he actually just lined someone up through the wall. How did that not kill Ace? Oh, they're off to the side. But yeah, they're cheating. He was down, yet yeah, able to shoot and sprint as if the game didn't remove those properties. Oh, so you don't mean standing status as in, like, he was standing height. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Um, yeah, I don't know. Siege. 
this game for a long time was just held together with basically duct tape and a dream. So I, I, I've told this many times and I'll tell it again. The history of Siege is that Siege was never meant to be a game. Originally, this game was supposed to be Rainbow Six Patriots. And if you're interested in looking up, you can. You can easily find the old trailer for Rainbow Six Patriots. It was a single player story based game where your decision would affect later elements of the story. Um, the iconic trailer that they released was a guy is about to get a blowjob from his wife. I'm not joking, that was the trailer. And then um, a bunch of guys storm into the building, take him hostage, and then it swaps you to the Patriots, who are the like team from Team Rainbow or something. And um, they are called in to a bomb situation where that guy who's about to get a blowy uh, is at a bridge, I think like San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge or something, and he has a bomb strapped to his chest, and they're like, you have to take, you know, take people out, like secure the hostage, and determine, like try to defuse the bomb. But then when you get there, it's too late, the bomb is about to blow, so you have to decide whether to risk it and get like the bomb squad in or if you just push the guy off the bridge so that was what rainbow six was originally supposed to be or siege was supposed to be and then they changed it because uh i think it just went to development hell so then siege came from it and siege you know like i said held it together with duct tape because this game was never meant to be what it is So, that is why Siege struggles. Because this game is basically not an imposter, but for lack of a better word. I like how he's trying to not be obvious. He did the same thing with Osa, where he didn't um, shoot her right away after he downed her because he didn't want her to see on the kill cam that he lined her up. Anyways, that's the history of Siege. And by the way, that's three matches with uh, three cheaters. Will we go for a six for six today? I don't think... I'm thinking back on it. Have we ever had a hacker replay that was a six for six? We've definitely had ones where it's like we've had nine cheaters, but that was like five cheaters in one match, and then at least one match didn't have a cheater. Next match, number four. Let's hope for a non-cheater, right? In this match, we have the one... I think it's supposed to be Silent Ninja, Silent Ninja, who's accusing Duck six nine six nine six four one four six nine. I can't tell if this is a streamer mode name. I think it is, but the fact that he managed to also get sixty nine at the end of it from random numbers is insane. This is a eight round match. Which makes me feel like it should be less obvious, because an obvious cheater would never go to overtime. We will see. Barricading. It feels so weird to go from games where the guys are just like blatantly flying around the map and just one shotting everyone to this where. Looks like so far, at least, he's just playing the game. Not pre-firing through those barricades. Can we can we just take a second to think about what rank this is? They barricaded that, reinforced all of this. I think reinforced that think on the other side. They're just all holed up on site. This is definitely like bronze rank, I'm guessing. Gold? Chat saying gold? There's no way this is gold. Okay, he did adjust his aim a little bit when the blitz was there, but I think he was just trying to get an angle. Wait, what? Okay, we lost audio, but that's fine. 
It looked like he was hitting him without actually hitting him. So... He was hitting the shield. There, okay, I, I, it's hard to tell, but I'll give it to them and then... Like there, it didn't look like they were hitting them at all. Weird. But now they're holding an angle where no one's pushing from. Doesn't care at all about the guy at bull, panics and shoots over. Hopefully we got audio in the next round. Okay. It's a easy kill on that one. His aim is so bad. That was the, you reported him already. What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen a cheater go cap cam. If he is cheating. Because they don't need cap cam. Just whiffed all those shots. I've been wanting to do this cap can trap here because I wonder how many people just wouldn't notice it. Like, who's checking that uh, left corner when they come in through the door? Golden Vector Glare, but thanks to removal placements, my damn RP is single to two digit. What? Is that person prone? He just proned in for the top floor. Is that Maverick? That's Maverick. No, that's Buck. Oh my god, the Yana clone always sounds so terrible. If he's missing that, he's probably not cheating. A lot of people always make those claims where they're like, oh, why are you watching this person? Like, he's clearly bad. Do you not realize, like, how many terrible cheaters there are? There are a lot. That was normal-ish. Because, like, this guy could just be so terrible at the game that even with cheats, he still is bad. But we don't know that. I don't know if it's just me, but I faced so many cheaters this season. I apparently have played against two because I got rollback for two matches. That's it. This music. What a banger. I mean, he is roaming on the other side of the map as if people are over here, but there's no one over here. Now, that obviously doesn't make him innocent because people do that. People fake it. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm holding this side of the map. Hmm. That's a reaction shot, right? Oops. He was ready, but like, I feel like anyone would be in that situation, right? They're on site, plant has just gone down, you're holding an angle waiting. I think that's fine. That aim, though.
All right, we're not trying to roast the person who submitted this, but like, what happened here? You would know they jumped in because the thing went off. Did seem weird he had it wrapped at the crouch height, right? I'm not mistaken. And he pre fired this. Again, makes sense. Person jumped in, set off the thorn gadget. You could know that. The only reason I find it a little bit suspicious is that this guy is so bad that I feel like he wouldn't react like that. Because, like, his positioning and awareness seems to be so much higher than everything else he does. Like, his skill is just objectively bad. Because, like, I'm trying to make sense of it, why does he do that? What, what is the logic here? So here, he actually makes a smart play, pushes into the smoke, which you can't see anymore, but pushes into the smoke, holds an angle, kills him. But then, in a second here, just sprints right at the person. Like, why? The decision making is just so all over the place. I don't get it. So yeah, so far, it doesn't feel like he's cheating, but his skill is all over the place. Sometimes he's amazing, sometimes he's fucking terrible. He's very inconsistent, but I also have, am that kind of player. Yeah, I mean, people are inconsistent as fuck, but it's just, uh, I don't know. It seems very, very odd. Okay, he's droning. Oh, it says it's kitchen. He also did lock onto that person through the wall, but I think that was just sheer coincidence. Yeah, that was a coincidence. That was movement not matching aim. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but it also seems like he's lost on this map. Like, he doesn't really know where he's going. Hmm. Nothing in life is a coincidence. There are plenty of coincidences in life. Yeah, this guy, I don't think he knows what he's doing. I don't... I I would be very hard-pressed to say they're a cheater this far. Like, they did have, like, suspicious moments. They had moments where it's just like, how are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Type of thing. But then... All the times it's just like... I don't know. I don't know. It's hard for me to tell. How did that grenade not kill them? Oh my god. I need these level lobbies so I can pull off this strat. I've been trying to get that strat to work forever now. What a bait.
The only thing I find odd about this is... The reaction time on that was insanely fast. Which me... Okay. So. Might be overthinking it. I completely understand. This will be on me if I am. If I am in this situation, and I am holding this, I am not really paying attention to my peripheral, because I am solely focused on, okay, if he comes through this hole, I shoot, right? The maestro appears for like a millisecond, and he immediately flicks over. So either this guy, which again, we've, we've concluded he is not good, so this is completely possible, either this guy is watching his peripheral more than where he's staring. Or the only other conclusion would be that he's cheating, but I don't think he is cheating. Because, like, if you're sitting there watching that hole, why are you paying attention to if someone comes through the door? That just makes no sense. You're doing it wrong, can't tunnel vision. I mean, either you don't play at the high rank or you don't know what you're talking about. So at the high rank... You watch one thing, they watch another. Or you set yourself up so that you can kind of watch both. There, he was not in a position that he could watch both. You're somehow saying that the perfect plan, or the better plan there, is to watch something that your aim is not at, rather than watch what your aim is at. Which is just the dumbest thing ever. We'll keep watching. Isn't Thermite not even close to here? Bro, hurry up! Oh, Ying's in the wall. Okay. Okay, well, they're band tricking. What the hell? What kind of fucking bug is that? He thatchered his own... What is that? <laughs> Bro, match replay is so buggy. He thatchered his own drone that was still driving. The Ying breach on the wall was not getting destroyed. Good job. So he knows that Legion just killed the... L no, not Lion. I think it was Ying. So he knows to look over there. Okay, he gets a kill onto Legion, which was kind of lucky timing on his part, because Legion just ran out. suspicious that round again the only thing i'll say is that it constantly is like sometimes he does super well and sometimes he's just fucking dog shit are players that inconsistent i would be so like happy and vindicated if at the very end this thatcher just fucking starts spinning around helicoptering across the map and just goes like ac 130 fucking strikes on the site we'll see I wonder if he sees the person on the stairs. Because uh, if he doesn't see this alibi here and walks past them, then that's good. That is evidence that they're not cheating. Or at least one like point towards them. Okay. Oh, well, alibi destroyed the drone and then fucking sprinted away. So, never mind on that. And then died. But this guy... Not it is droning way more than I would have expected, so leaning back towards not cheating. Droning out his own teammates, that's good. Is this my teammates? Okay, 
me dies to an uh, Ella downstairs, which, by the way, was right next to one of their fucking Yanas. Or to Yana. Alright. Did nothing that round. Point towards not cheating. I mean, unless they do something super obvious, I'm gonna just assume not cheating, but they are weird. I'll say that much. They're very... Incredibly inconsistent player, who also uh, seems to always have some good timing on their on their side. But this might just be the type of person I play against, because whenever I peek, I look away, they peek. I'm the person that always gets timinged. I was going to point out one thing, I noticed this before, we pointed it out before, he always aims, or at least the points where I've been like, it's a little bit suspicious, is because he's always aiming at crouch level when they're crouched. I noticed here, so he aims at crouch level, kills the Capitao, and I'm pretty sure he does, yeah, he aims at like crouch level here in the Maverick. This guy is just like a, a crouch aim Charlie, he is always aiming down low. He aimed at the guy's foot there. So I don't think we can read into the fact that he's aiming low. Ignore the flailing body, but he he aims he aims super low, not because of where they are, but because he just aims low. He is a crouching Charlie. Wait, Yana has smokes? Okay, so now that we've kind of concluded that he consistently aims low, don't feel too bad about that one round where he killed Maverick in Garage. He aimed at crouch level there. Gets an ace. Honestly, just looks like a bad player who had a good game. That is my guess. She's always had smokes. I don't care that she's always had it. I'm saying, who the fuck is using smokes on Yana? That's like running sledge and getting flashes. It's just not done. I don't think he saw anyone there, but he's done a lot of preliminary droning every time, which is good, because it means that he's not just confident where they are. But he's also just barely droning. So it could either be a Byproduct being a low rank and not really droning anything. Or he doesn't need to drone because he knows where they are. I'm gonna guess the first. He also has this shitty Russian holographic. Okay, I'm gonna guess not cheating. He is so fucking inconsistent that the only logical explanation here is that he was just a... Bad player who got a lot of lucky kills. I I was suspicious of like his aim and his um, timing a lot, but it looks like he always aims at crouch level. The master and bathroom, maybe he heard him or something, I don't know. Must have been something, because he flicked over. But other than that one instance in the bathroom, I wouldn't know. Doesn't really seem that suspicious. Although, he did get reported in the very first round. I think he's just really bad, but I think that lobby might be worse. Yeah, he was 16 and 4. Chat, if he is 16 and 4, what's stopping you, huh? Why are you guys struggling to get above 5 kills? If he can get 16, so can you. Match number 5, we have Regal, who's accusing Ty Pro's dad, Ty Pro's dad, Tide Pod's dad, whoever this guy is. This is a six round match. We can already tell that he is cheating based on one simple thing, chat. He has the 
Rainbow Six Extraction skin. And the reason you can tell they're cheating is because no one in their right mind would pay for that. Because Extraction's fucking garbage. And the skins were tough. Really bad. So, clearly a cheater. Unlock all. Uses the worst skin in the game. Also just AFK. Doesn't... Nook has the 1.5, right? Is he sprinting backwards? I think my man just sprinted backwards. Oh, he's moving full speed no matter what. He is cheating. Also, the fact that he's just sitting in the spawn doing this makes it even more suspicious. I also just noticed something. Okay, well, he is very clearly cheating. We are going to back out of this match because I'm not going to bother watching anymore because I just noticed that one of them had a racist name. So, we're moving on from that match, but 100% cheating. Barely needed to watch that to realize it. So, five matches, four cheaters. One person not cheating who's just better than anyone in chat. In this match, we have Apollo, I assume is how it's supposed to be pronounced, who is accusing Snowy.js, the thorn. What is that attachment skin? Is it the new seasonal one? Also, Echo's just aiming at them. Zero two mommy 420. What? No, not the attachment. What is the attachment skin? It's from the samurai event? Oh. I didn't even know they had a attachment skin. Okay, Snowy has already been team killed by the Echo. Chat, what are the odds that they're a cheater? I'm going to guess I. It seems all the posture checks go unseen. I do the posture check. I just don't say, hey, thanks for the posture check. Okay. We'll see if he gets team killed again. Oh, they actually forgave him. 0-2 mommy 420 does not have reverse friendly fire. Now we'll wait and see if they do it again because there is a possibility that they were just AFK and they're like, hey, team kill me because I'm going to be AFK. The fact that they're still following them, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say no on that. Oh, he's going for the impacts. Yeah, he's cheating. <laughs> okay. And 0-2-Mommy420 is a real MVP who's trying to stop him from cheating. You know what's really depressing, chat? A lot of you people, you wouldn't team kill a cheater. I know you wouldn't. I always will. You always team kill a cheater. It does not matter whether you are gonna win or not and you want to rank up no you always team kill a cheater oh also uh point out that it looks like at least right now they're just making call outs they're not actively trying to kill the people that they're watching Okay, so now they're friends? So zero two mommy team kills. And then tries to hurt them again. But now they're friends. Or... 
Snowy is about to do some shit with his Goyo and get him killed. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Thanks for the eight months, Black Drip God. <laughs> he, like, okay. I, I want to watch a bit more just to get, like, you know, absolute proof, but, like, we, we can tell, obviously, he is cheating. Because, like, maybe, maybe the first run was just a sheer coincidence, but no. He just hit the... he hit the blitz through the shield. Okay, watch. So he jumps out. Also, I just realized that Ella team killed... Go wait, how, okay, what is happening here? So Ella team kills Goyo who runs out. Nice, nice Ella. But also Thorn shoots at Blitz in the shield. Oh, he hits once in the shoulder. That's why he takes so much damage. Man, he sucks. Even with cheats. I just want to point out that he is blatantly walling off his tits. And he is 0 and 3. 0 and 3. Chat, the match goes to overtime. He must toggle on more stuff, right? Or just go completely blatant, because there is no way that they would take it to overtime if he's this bad. So that will put us at five cheaters today. He killed zero two mommy four twenty. Feel like running the Cali here is a little bit risky. Because you're going to tunnel hard with this scope. But it seems like the rest of his team is picking it up. Alright, he doesn't hold back anymore. So they obviously win. I'm curious how many kills he finally dropped. Thank you for the 14 months Viking. That Capcan had a free kill. He did. He just did not shoot him. Oh, how did they team kill Mommy again? Oh, he died trying to team kill. That makes more sense. Oh, we lost audio. Whatever, it's the last round. Was it weird to anyone else he ran right past the guy on roof stairs? He probably just didn't notice. I mean, he's obviously cheating. There is absolutely no benefit of the doubt anymore. Like, he is cheating. He just probably doesn't really understand the game that well. It's just like, oh, I'll just run past them because I don't know where they are. Like, he's probably going to just floor bang this guy. Oh, I'm just kidding. He won't. I don't know what he's trying to do. Oh, I think he gets them to break the hatch. Just kidding, the hatch is broken, but it doesn't look like it. He's just straight wall banging. Oh my god. Is it bad that I saw that jacket there and I wanted to loot it? Because I thought this was Tarkov for a second. Alright, well... That is six matches, five cheaters.
Just to recap, we had the XP cheat, we had the prone and fast spinning while sprinting cheat, we had the downed and still sprinting cheat, and then we just basically had walls for the rest of them. Duck 6969, I'm assuming was not cheating, uh, but we do not know for sure, I guess. I, I'm, I'm heavily leaning towards not after watching it all, but I guess there could always be more evidence and i believe the person who submitted it said that uh the team was accusing him non-stop so probably had something to do with it but still six matches five cheaters not a six for six today um overall not bad hopefully ubisoft does not take down if they if ubisoft sees this video and they think that one drone flying around on skyscraper is free cam and they strike my video again we're about to go nuclear. I'm about to expose Ubisoft for everything they've ever done wrong to me. Heed my warning.